So let's use that strategy on this very simple problem. Convert 288 centimeters to yards. The numbers are big clues here. The number is usually where you're going to start. So here there's only one number. So we're going to start with 288 centimeters. And where are we going? Yards. Convert this many centimeters to yards. We're starting with a simple one. So I'm going to put yards over here. I'd like to leave some space because sometimes this isn't something you can do in a leap. This is a little bit like crossing a river <coughs> using stepping stones. Here you're on one bank, here you're on another bank, and you need to find some stepping stones so you don't get washed away in the middle. You and your friend may find a different path across the river. As long as you get to the other side, that's fine. The stepping stones are conversion factors. Before I forget, I know this is distracting, but pass these guys around. These are, it's a periodic table on one side and a whole bunch of conversion factors on the other side. It'll be helpful when we do the worksheet. So sometimes we can just start at the beginning and figure out a path to the end. Sometimes we look and start at the end and work our way backwards. So we've got centimeters and we've got yards, and we need some units that are in between that we know the conversion factors for. What could we convert centimeters to, to that we already know? Just we could do centimeters to meters. So I've got, I've got two things here. I, we could do centimeters to meters, and somebody else said inches. Okay. Do we know the relationship between meters and yards? No. Off the top of your head. If we don't know, then this is blocked. There's no, we can't jump there. So that's not going to work. Now, that is on the, on the chart that I'm passing around, but we don't have that yet. So if we went to inches, could we go from inches to yards? We could. How many inches are in a yard? 36. 36. 36 inches equals one yard. And we already talked about inches to centimeters. We know that one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. So when you start out, you might want to actually write these down. Later on, you'll be OK without. So if you start on a path and you can't get to the end, uh, go back to the beginning and start over and, and take a different route. Some people might want to go inches to feet to yards. That works too. So this is my path, centimeters to inches to yards. You guys familiar with Dora the Explorer? Yeah, some of you are. Little cartoon show. And Dora was always getting lost. You know, she needed to get to the snowy mountains, and she wasn't sure how to go. And so she'd say, who do we ask when we don't know which way to go? The map. And this map would come out, and he would say, well, to get to the snowy mountains, first you have to cross the troll bridge, and then you have to go through the spooky woods, and then you'll get to the snowy mountains. And then they would chant, right? Troll bridge, spooky trees, no, spooky forest. Is that what I said? <laughs> snowy mountains, right? You kind of have to say it a few times or you forget, right? This is Dora's map. Centimeters to inches to yards. Now we're going to translate that into a math equation. I look at this and I see two arrows. Thanks. If there are two arrows, that means I have two conversion factors. I'm going to take this starting number and write that down. 200 and, oh, that's really small. Getting carried away with my zooming in and out. 288 centimeters. And I'm going to have two conversion factors because I have two arrows. Centimeters to inches to yards. Centimeters to inches to yards. Finding the path is the key to the whole thing. Once you've got the path, it's just follow the pattern. So we've got centimeters to inches to yards. I want to take this unit and put it in the denominator because centimeters is a unit I want to go away. I don't want to have that in my final answer. So I'm going to divide by centimeters, and those cancel out. I need to divide by inches to make inches go away. 
And now what I've got left is yards, and that's what I was trying to get to. This is dimensional analysis or unit analysis. The units are telling us what to do. We don't have to remember, do I need to multiply or divide? Put the units in. After we get the units in, then we stick the numbers in. Do you have to do it in this exact form? You don't have to do it in the exact form. And for, for a question like this, I know a lot of you could just take your calculator and, and, and get it without writing anything down. The problem is when we get to later things like stoichiometry or we do problems on worksheets like calculate the mass of the ice on the continent of Antarctica, which is the last problem on the worksheet, um, when things get more complicated, we need to know how to do it this way. So I want you to learn how to do it this way. At the very least, you need to be able to show your work in a way that another person could understand what you're doing. So this is not the only way, but this is what I recommend. Now we put numbers in, and we're going to look at this. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. So this part goes in the denominator, because that's where a centimeter is. The number has to stay with its units, and there's one inch on the top. The top of this has to equal the bottom. That's the only way it's going to work out. Over here, we have 36 inches equals one yard. So the number one goes with yard, and 36 inches is on the bottom. We've got our numbers in place. Now we get out the calculator. Take this number, multiply by the top, divide by the bottom. Multiply by the top, divide by the bottom. Of course, you don't have to multiply and divide by one, but if you're, there are some people that want to do that, and it's fine. So I'm going to do 288 times one if you want to, divided by 2.54 times one, divided by 36 equals. And I'm going to write this down. And then I'm going to look around for sig figs. 3.1496062. And the unit is yards. Conversion factors are where we often run into exact numbers. So we need to look at these and decide, are these exact or not? One inch to 2.54 centimeters. Is this exact? Yes, it is. How about one yard and 36 inches? That's also exact. So then we don't need to worry about them. They're not going to change anything. We look at our starting number three sig figs, that means our answer will have three sig figs. The three, the one, and the four. So that's going to be 3.15 yards. Any questions? Yes? That's a good question. What about that 36? There are exactly 36 inches in one yard. So we could write 36.0000 if we wanted to because it's defined that way. So because it's okay. infinite, we're just not worrying about Right. Because infinite is always going to be larger than something else. Infinite will never be the smallest number of significant figures. Any other questions? So if it's an exact conversion factor, that means it has an infinite number of significant figures. That means you don't have to worry about it. Just ignore, ignore it. <laughs> 